Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to address my personal low that I shot a couple weeks back. I shot a 68 in a cactus tour event. A lot of you have reached out and asked me how I got there and how I shot 68. So for those of you who don't know, I played in the event at Western Skies Golf Course. I shot 76, 74, 68. So a lot of you have just been wondering how I was able to go from a 76 to a 68 in the same tournament and basically how I got there. So I am just going to talk a bit about that and what helped me shoot my personal best that day. Okay, so I will drop my scores right here and um, just talk a bit about how I went from that 76 to the 68. Basically, once you get to a certain level, I would say, your mental game is kind of the biggest factor, I think, that sets you apart. So even from a score like 76 to a score like a 68. It is all in your mental control. At some point in your career, you will get to the point where your game is capable of going super far, further than you can even expect it to go, but your mind is what will hold you back. So I would say that I went into this tournament with really low expectations. I honestly did not practice very much over the whole COVID quarantine. I played for fun, but I was honestly a bit burnt out. I have been grinding away down here on mini tours for almost four years and in Arizona you know it's hot in the summertime. It's pretty much hot year-round and practicing every single day for like six hours a day, eight hours a day, I got burnt out. I just was kind of done with it right now and I think I used COVID as a little bit of an excuse to be like, I don't need to practice because I have no tournaments and I don't want to practice just because I didn't want to. <laughs> and that is okay. I think that definitely was a silver lining to COVID and a blessing in disguise because I am somebody who it's really hard for me to take a bunch of time off. Mentally, I think like, oh, you're being lazy when I'm really am not being lazy. I just am tired and I need a break and I don't give myself a break enough. So I think that was kind of a blessing is for about six months, I really only played when I felt like it and I didn't practice too much. So fast forward to now, I signed up for this event. I figured it's a course I already know. I'm gonna have my friend Terry, Terry's my golfing buddy. Um, I'm gonna have him on the bag, he'll come caddy for me. And it was a later start, it was like 11 o'clock start. So I'm like, it'll just be fun. I'll go out there and have fun. So basically, the week before the tournament, I really was not feeling well at all. I thought I had COVID. I went to the urgent care, didn't have COVID. And I think I was just struggling with anxiety, which is a whole nother video that if you guys want to like hear about that whole stuff, I'll make a different video. But something I've never struggled with before. So the week before the tournament, I took completely off did not go to the gym, did not go to the course at all. I So I went into the tournament with no expectations. I'm like, I haven't been practicing. I have basically taken six months off. I've been sick the whole last week, like not feeling well, not getting any sleep, no sleep at all. Basically had little to no expectations for this tournament. I think when I went out there the first day, I, even though I had no expectations, I still really wanted to do well. And I tried too hard to think about my swing. I tried to force the ball to go where it needed to go. And I knew I was doing that. That was the annoying part was I would hit a shot and I would tell Terry, I would say, I don't even know what I, I know what I'm doing. I know I'm like trying so hard to force this ball to go where it needs to go. And you can't do that. Some of you might know the, the term steering the ball. I was steering the ball. I was trying so hard to will that ball to go where I wanted it to go instead of just swing the club and wherever the ball goes, it's gonna go. 
So I was trying so hard to force it. And my front nine of that tournament was like <laughs> the worst nine holes I've played in so long. And we played the back nine first. So that the back nine was my front nine. And I just, I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know how to stop trying to force the ball to go where it needs to go. And I don't know if it was the fact that I just finally just gave up or if I just started thinking of just one thing, which when I try and think of one thing, it's usually either target or to shorten my swing. I just made shorter swings and the back nine was like night and day difference. I was playing so much better the way I knew I, I knew that I could play. And it gave me some confidence going into the next day, which is what I needed because I was thinking so poorly about myself and my game on the my first nine holes that first day. I was questioning why I was even out there. I honestly was telling myself horrible things like you don't deserve to be here. You haven't been practicing. Like, what did you expect? And I felt like I didn't fit in with even my Cactus Tour pros anymore. I thought that I didn't deserve to be out there, which is such a bad thing to tell yourself. That alone could have tore me down for the rest of the tournament because I was talking so poorly to myself, but I just kind of like gave in. I think I just kind of gave up and just decided to take shorter swings and just suck it up and just finish the round and it really turned my game around. The second day of the tournament went well. I ended up having like a double bogey at one point, which kind of rocked me a little bit, but I got it, I got it back and I just couldn't make putts, but I was playing good golf. So I shot 74, two over, and I figured, you know, I left a lot out there. I was confident going into the last day and I knew that at this point my mind was right. I knew my game was there. I was hitting some really great shots. I just wasn't making putts, but I am a true believer that the putts will fall. Like they're gonna drop. Day three, I went out with so much confidence. I knew that I could go low. And it's a crazy feeling when you know that. It's just so different. It's like you go out there and you just have this gut feeling like there's no doubt in your mind. If there is one thing you take away from this video, it can be, I hope, that it is confidence. Confidence can make or break your round. And I truly believe that in different aspects of just your game too. So with your putting, if you are a good putter and you're lacking the confidence, you are not going to make putts. If you are somebody who doesn't have a perfect stroke, like most of us, but you have so much confidence on the putting green, I think that you are probably going to make putts. Basically, I went out day three. I had so much confidence. I knew I was going to be able to go low and I just carried myself with that confidence. I think that totally changed my round. I think that that is why I shot a 68. I don't wanna take away from some of the other work that I've done during my COVID off season. I have been really training hard in the gym thanks to my new trainer, John Schaefer. Shout out, John. Um, and I also got a new set of clubs. So because of that, I am hitting the ball a lot further, which definitely helps make a difference for me. I'm hitting shorter clubs into greens. But as far as from 76 to 68 in one tournament, I give a lot of credit to my mental game the final day. So the last day with all the confidence I had, I just stuck with my swing thought, my one swing thought, which was still to keep a short swing. And then on the green, I just saw my line, visualized it, and I knew it was gonna go in. I just trusted it. Didn't think about stroke at all. Really didn't think about swing at all other than my one thought. And I just knew that the birdies were going to come. I would say the hardest part about going low or playing a really good round is that you usually know that you're doing it and it's hard to stay in the moment. In college, we used to call it getting in the zone. And once you're in the zone, the zone, the zone will find you. And once it does, you have to kind of turn your mind off from it. 
because when you realize you're in the zone that's when you start to panic and freak out and you lose it so you have to stay in the zone there was a time in college where I out of nowhere I just got in the zone I the zone found me and I was making birdie after birdie and I was like four under making the turn I knew that I realized that and I kind of lost it on the back nine so I thought of that during the round my third round and I just remembered stay in the moment stay in the process just focus on what you're here to do which is hit one shot at a time try not to get ahead of yourself and just focus on your process my process was keeping a short swing on each shot. When I got on the green, it was visualizing my line and hitting it there. That was it, sticking with the process and trying not to get too ahead of myself. I would say around the 14th or 15th hole, that's when I realized, holy cow, I'm about to shoot my lowest round. If I keep this up, if I par in, I can shoot my lowest round and I knew that. So I said to Terry, my caddy, I was like, I need you to really keep me focused, keep me, you know, keep my mind right and get my mind off my score. And it's really hard to do that. So he did a really good job of keeping my mind off my score, keeping me one shot at a time. But I almost lost my round at the end. I almost blew it twice because I got a little ahead of myself, a little nervous. Overall, there we all know there is no secret to golf. But whether you are somebody who is trying to break par for the first time or trying to break 80 for the first time or just shooting your personal best in general, we are all the same when it comes to this. You have the game that you have. You're going to go out that day with whatever game you show up with. You don't need your A game to score. You don't need your B game to score but you need to have a good mental game in order to shoot a decent round or a really low round. So I would say I definitely went out that third day with so much confidence. I carried confidence, I believed it, I believed in myself. I knew that I could go out there and go low and then I stuck with my process in order to stay in the moment. Reminding myself just to take it one shot at a time is really something that helps me and if that's something that would help you I definitely encourage at least trying it because it really does make a difference for me and it just reminds me like it doesn't matter where this ball goes I am only focused on this shot and once I hit it I will go and find it again and then hit it again and then eventually it'll go in the hole and not to care where it goes. I hope this story kind of helps you guys and your mental approach to the game. It is not something that you can just go out and do the first time and it'll work. Probably, like that probably isn't gonna happen, but it's something that you can practice just like any other part of your game. So make sure the next time you go out and play, even if you're just playing with friends, Focus on one shot at a time, come up with a good process for yourself and that way you can stay in the moment and hopefully get it done and go low. So thanks you guys for watching and let me know in the comments below what you wanna see coming up. Thanks y'all, bye.